Hello everyone and welcome back to Mossy Bottom. It's late May, it's unbelievably beautiful as you can see here in the west of Ireland, as it always is at this time of year. And yes, I know it's been a long time since my last video. In truth, it's been a very tough period and uh, this video is really just an update on life here at Mossy Bottom. And uh, there's no easy way of saying this. I have some, um, some very sad news. At the beginning of the year, uh, not long after my last video, in fact, uh, Moss became very unwell very quickly. And uh, what followed was, um, was a drawn out battle in which we did everything we could. Um, but ultimately, about three weeks ago, I had to make the decision to have him put to sleep. At the advice of my vet, um, in order to, to avoid prolonged suffering. He was seven years old, which in uh, human terms, I think is about 50. So still relatively young. Saying that, his seven years were filled with joy and adventure and action. He had a life here which um, any country dog at least, like him, would be envious of. Surrounded by fields, forests, animals to chase. Um, he, was, he was never shut inside or caged and I was here almost all the time with him. So he was in his element and I think that's probably why um, so many of you fell in love with him too through these videos because you got to see that joy. Moss was truly a one-of-a-kind dog and I've had a few dogs throughout my life, none quite like him. He was completely indefatigable uh, until the very end, full of life and uncompromising purpose, something which I found here too for the first time in my life. I now have a partner, as many of you know who've watched previous videos, but when I first moved here, and for many years thereafter, it was just me and Moss, uh, at least until the chickens came along. And we were both deliriously happy here, in spite of all the hard work and adversity involved in this lifestyle. Like all dogs, he was fiercely loyal and reliable. Uh, and I think for an introvert like me, he was, he was safe, which is what so many of us love about our dogs, isn't it? They become our safe place. And Moss, along with that forest over there, was my safe place. In fact, in a way, um, this channel is even named after Moss. Right now, I may seem quite unemotional talking about this, but that's only because most of my emotion has been spent at this stage. It's been very tough. There have been plenty of tears and uh, sleepless nights, particularly making that final decision, knowing when to do so. Um, and anyone who's been in that position will know you just want to put it off a bit longer and a bit longer and a bit longer to the point of selfishness, really. Um, but you also don't want to press the button too soon and uh, and there's a sense of guilt either way it's really hard and to be blunt um, I'm not really very good at sharing pain I suppose which is why I haven't felt motivated or able to create content during this period and I know many of you would perhaps have liked me to and uh, this news may feel very out of the blue for which I'm sorry, but you know, um, I'm not really a traditional vlogger in the way many YouTubers are. I try to tell stories, real stories, about my life and other people's lives, which I hope inspire and motivate. That's what I enjoy doing, and it's what I've always tried to do on this channel from that very first video. I'd like to think that a big part of of Moss's story is the joy and inspiration which he brought to so many of you who watched him and enjoyed his company 
over the years. Of course he never knew about any of that and uh, he wouldn't have cared a jot if he had because he was so very good at living in the moment like dogs usually are. But from my perspective the fact that he has touched the lives of so many people is a pretty good legacy for uh, for an amazing friend who I will never forget. So losing Moss, which is something um, we knew was going to happen for many months now, has made me really reflect on my priorities um, moving forward. Living here at Mossy Bottom for seven years, I've learnt unequivocally that the pursuit of a self-sufficient life in which I'm in control of my own time uh, problem solving my way through each day on my own land, growing food, keeping animals on my terms. That's what makes me happy. And if I want to keep being happy, which I do, or fulfilled is another word for it, I cannot and will not ever go back um, to a conventional life. But saying that, for at least a year now, me and my partner have been contemplating relocating. And we've now decided that that is what we're going to do. Angela, my partner, is a fairly recent graduate with a great deal of ambition and a lot to offer the world. But there are very few opportunities for her, professionally at least, here in the northwest of Ireland. Now that's something she always knew and has never at any stage put any pressure on me to move. Which really speaks of her character, I think. Um, she was, and still is, willing to stay here. But I've realised that as much as I love this place, and who wouldn't, it's truly magical, it's actually, it's not the place, um, but the way of life that I found fulfilment in here at Mossy Bottom. And that way of life is transferable to other locations, which would open up a lot more doors for my partner, and for me, in fact, because I've also realized that a new location is a new opportunity to learn. It's the beginning of an adventure, this time a shared adventure, and that's exciting. I've moved around an awful lot in my adult life um, prior to buying this cottage and land, and I've never been one of those people uh, who's afraid of change, or afraid of failing if that change goes wrong. Life has taught me to be courageous, and this feels like one of those moments. So yes, I am moving, but no, I'm not giving up this way of life, nor I hope will I stop making videos, um, because that's something I love too. But this probably will be the last video I make here at Mossy Bottom, at least at this particular Mossy Bottom. So I know that many of you will have um, dozens of questions, but please understand that I can't answer all of them right now because this is a story that's half written. Uh, for instance, where are we going to move? Well, we're just not sure. We want to be within a commutable distance of a city. And uh, in Ireland, that would probably be Dublin or Cork in the south. But the reality is, those are expensive areas and we probably don't have the resources to buy somewhere like Mossy Bottom um, with a bit of land in those locations, although we are looking. Angela graduated from a German university and uh, Germany is also a possibility, as is the UK. The challenge with both those countries um, is finding the right property because with land, and the opportunity for self-sufficiency, uh, suitable properties are few and far between. The south of Finland is also somewhere um, on our radar, a country which uh, me and Angela both love and uh, a wonderful place to be self-sufficient actually, um, including near large cities. But the challenge um, there is the language and uh, integrating. It's said to be one of the hardest languages in the world to learn, which neither of us speak any of. And uh, although personally I'm quite happy 
being a social recluse, I don't think my partner necessarily is. Then there's Canada, somewhere I've spent a lot of time and um, have a real love of and affinity for. I've spoken about my adventures in Canada many times on this channel uh, with genuine affection. I love the people and I love the place and it seemingly ticks all the other boxes but neither of us currently have entitlement to live there so another stumbling block. In fact there are advantages and disadvantages uh, to every location be it cost and availability of property uh, with land, proximity to a city for my partner's career opportunities, uh, language, uh, living costs and so many other considerations which I know from all the messages I've received over the years that that you folks worry about too when considering moving. Right now we're just not sure that's the simple truth so uh, we're going to take some time and try to figure it out. Does this mean that I've fallen out of love with Ireland? And I know some of you will think that um, but far from it. Although I wasn't born here, Ireland to me feels like home. And it may be that uh, we have an opportunity to stay here in a different location. Or it may be that we come back here again uh, at some point in the future. I would definitely love that and I know Angela would too. She first came here as a volunteer here at Mossy Bottom and uh, I know she fell in love with the country just as I had so many years earlier. Of course, like anywhere in the world, there are challenges living here. Um, at this time of year, um, as beautiful as it is, the biggest challenge is the midges, which I know everyone has home remedies for. Thank you for all of those. Um, but believe me, seven years later, I can tell you that none of them really work. Um, but there are also so many things to love about this country. The relaxed way of life, uh, the natural beauty that you can see all around me, the mild winters, the history and ancientness and culture of this land. It is a magical country and I'm very aware that if we do leave, uh, we'll be leaving that magic behind. It's also the place where I discovered who I am um, and how to be fulfilled. So I will always love this country. Um, but I know that that magic will still be here waiting for me uh, to return when the time's right. What about the animals? Well, one of the great things about creating this YouTube channel is that it's put me in touch with so many like-minded folks living in this area. And there really are a lot now. It's increased uh, substantially since, uh, since I moved here. Uh, and that means that uh, potentially finding the animals great new homes uh, isn't difficult. Although it is sad for me, especially at this time, in a way it's also exciting. Um, for instance, for the chickens, we have a 10 acre apple orchard lined up in County Mayo. Um, for the pigs, a Cooney Cooney retirement home with several other Cooney Cooneys, including some boys uh, to keep uh, Fatso and Titch entertained. None of the animals here, including the ducks and the rabbits, uh, will lose their lives, none of them, um, as a result of me moving. If that was the price, then I wouldn't be considering it. You may also be wondering what's going to happen to Mossy Bottom, to the cottage and the land here in County Sligo. Well, in order to relocate, we of course have to sell. This is our only asset. Um, I also feel that the story of Mossy Bottom isn't yet complete. I've been able to transform the land, to build the cabin, the polytunnel, to restore the granary, and to begin the restoration of the cottage behind me. But uh, without another custodian to pick up the baton, this little piece of the world um, will be reclaimed by nature um, pretty quickly. It will never lose its beauty or its magic, um, and being reclaimed by nature sounds pretty good, but 
it would also lose its productivity and that would be sad because that's something I've worked to create here. So although the next chapter of my story will be somewhere new, I think this cottage and land also needs someone new to write the next chapter of its story. I won't be making a video about Mossy Bottom, there's uh, plenty of those on my channel already, um, and it would feel disingenuous, I think, to promote it in that way. But I have created a web page with um, current pictures and more information for anyone uh, who may be interested in buying it. So yes, as of today, Mossy Bottom is for sale. Um, if you would like to find out more, then you will find a link uh, to that web page down in the description of this video. If you are left feeling a bit sad after this video, then know that I have no intention of ending uh, my YouTube channel. In fact, I'm really very excited for video making opportunities that uh, I hope our new home will offer wherever it may be. Uh, this certainly, certainly is not the end of my self-sufficiency journey. How could it be? It's, um, it's just the end of chapter one, or maybe even uh, just the prologue. There's a lot more to come, and I'd love to share that with you. So I have every intention of continuing to make content. Um, there just might be a few gaps along the way. As for Moss, well, something tells me this isn't the end of his journey either. Thank you everyone for your continued support and uh, concern over the last five or six months. Uh, I had a lot of messages, comments, and as I said uh, in the community post that I made um, last month, it means a lot to me. It really does. I don't know what the next video will be or where um, but until then from me and from this beautiful land take care and bye for now Done, my son, our work's begun, you'll pay that debt one day.